I'm Joe Tree Frog. Welcome to It's Easy Being Green. <laughs> Welcome to another It's Easy Being Green with myself, Adele Quo, and my mascot, Joe Tree Frog. As summer fades into fall, it's time for the annual autumnal back to school ritual. And back to school goes green in 2017. We're merging our environmental three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, with the school's three R's of reading, writing, and arithmetic to promote Team Planet Goes Green. 54.1 54, 54 million kids, let's start again. 54.1 million kids will attend public elementary and secondary schools in fall 2017, plus another 6.4 million expected to attend private school this fall. Add in the 20.1 million students headed off to college, we've got 29 million American households getting ready to go back to school, which means shopping and buying new stuff like school supplies and clothes. Back to school has become the second biggest shopping season of the year. We're looking at $83.6 billion in back to school purchases. That's $53.5 billion spent on clothing and electronics and another $14.2 billion on school supplies. The average family with school age kids will spend $688 on back to school purchases this year. Since the largest chunk of money, 64%, or that $53.5 billion will be spent on clothing and electronics, and 85% of Gen Z chooses eco-friendly products, Joe Tree Frog has investigated the new green trends in back-to-school apparel this season. Not wanting to sacrifice quality and style nor spend more money, more and more retailers offer eco-clothing. Target's Cat and Jack jeans and tees are made with Reprieve polyester created from recycled plastic bottles. Since Target launched Cat and Jack last July, they have recycled nearly 250 million plastic bottles. Reprieve fa fabric can be found in Patagonia, Adidas, and Quicksilver labels too. After seeing customers search for recycled jeans on its website, JCPenney is featuring three styles of jeans this fall made from 20% polyester created from recycled plastic bottles with a cost comparable to other jeans in their Arizona collection. Many retailers are recycling and also introducing more clothes this season that use waste from all sorts of sources such as those recycled denim or leather, nylon waste, and remnants of old garments. For footwear, Adidas recently incorporated plastic waste from the ocean into their sports shoes. And over at Nike, 71% of its footwear and clothing contains recycled materials. Buying apparel made with recycled materials moves you to the head of the class. So remember, it's easy being green when you promote Team Planet Goes Green. Really? 71% wow. of footwear, Nike, 71% of footwear and clothing contains recycled materials. Well, get this, those That's Adidas uh -huh. uh, shoes from recycled ocean waste, uh, yeah. $200. $200. dollars That's uh, sporting money. some serious dollars there, too. Yeah. 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 That's pretty steep. Well, we appreciate it. That's a, <laughs> another spin of uh, Easy Being Green. Thanks, Adele. We appreciate that.